All right, new project, new beautiful day. Replacing dry rot. So we just put a new board right there. That looks nice. I should have had it before and after, but we're just kind of making our pieces as we go. But basically, that is going to be changed That's to a new to piece. That's the thing. Yeah. So this roof right here is lower than those roofs, and it was three-fourths full of water. So we're going to have a separate downspot on it. So it's going to look nice. So check out that new board that's going in there. I'm going to paint it. It should be good. We're doing the 5K white gutters on this one. Customer provided the paint. Got some cardboard. Nicely painted over there. We're going to have two by three leaf traps. It's going to be beautiful. We've got three more gutters to do. We're kind of just set up in this street right there. Uh, our next project, we got our uh, wide bottom fascia. So we'll be going there next after this. Check this out, got a new board. Gutters are at a slight angle. Well, not the gutter, but the fascia board. So it looks nice, got it painted. Last gutter. Here's how it looks from this side with the boards repaired. No more ugly corners there. Looks really clean. The back side, got two downspouts here, one here, and one there. Looks nice. All right, got the downspouts installed with the two by three cleanouts. Extra downspout here. It just kicks out. Looking nice. Everything's painted, no more dry rot. And let's go to the next project. All right, we're at the next project to feed the coil, notch the corners. Then we're gonna feed it through here, just like that. We have this crank here, it'll suck the coil in. So let's get it going. All right, now that we're gonna have this coil come in here. We will stand here and watch it, make sure it doesn't get jammed. So this house is not gonna have any tabs or anything, so we're gonna make sure we're holding the coil this way when we move it forward. There we go. Should be good now. And we're good. We are doing wide bottom again. Very popular gutter. It's a smaller version fascia. It's just wider at the bottom, easy to maintain. And it's an 032. We're gonna be doing this house over here. Three gutters in the front. One long one in the back. I promised Jose I was going to show him how to do a square outlet. So I'm going to set this down right in here. I'm going to trace it. My scissors are not the best. I need new scissors. Maybe it's, some of the... It's 032, right? Oh, oh that's, that's right. 032. It's, it's thick. But maybe some of my viewers can send me a new pair. <laughs> of their favorite snips. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Maybe next time I'll just drill it. All right, well, maybe Jose's, Jose's way is easier. I'm just kind of over, overdoing it here. But here's the tabs I was talking about. If I make the tabs here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 where am I going right here? This requires a little bit more skill. 
I don't know if anybody got time for that. Yeah, see, it's kind of kind of tricky, but it's definitely worth it. So now that we have this lip, watch. I'm going to hook this in like this, and I'm going to bring this in right there. But here we go. So now you hold it, and then you hang this back in. Hammer those back down. I haven't done these in like a while, so. Wrong hammer, too big. But look at that, it's, oh, it does it's better, strong. Though. There won't be any. There, there's, there's no obstruction for water. Cool. I have like almost 30 subscribers from Jose the? for the outlet cut that he did. She's not good to brag on video, Tony. Well, no, it's good job, Jose. He must have did a good job. Oh, yeah. Well, seven, if you're doing 700 feet per day installed you're making good money right plus they're like three-story apartments nobody's gonna be looking anywhere uh, for Perhaps. a customer's customer's house we're gonna go a step further that was a huge fail the first time i guess we have a second chance There's a second second shot let me get a the red one shorties or something. Hold on. Oh, these are these are awkward. Oh my! That's a strong gutter. Yeah, you know what? I'm going home. I give up. Yeah. Or well, you can go back to school. I'm done. There's a school over there. We I'll go. go back to school. Yeah, with the kids. It might be an option, but I don't <laughs> want to get arrested. <laughs> I'm pretty sure is, they have like... Is YouTube not paying us yet or what? <laughs> yeah, subscribe so we can get an outlet. Yeah, we, we need outlet tools. Cutter. We need better tools. Well, this one's like broken. Yeah, so please yeah, we're, guys, we're, like and subscribe. This is the way you support this mission that yeah, we do. Yeah, we're like... We're like... What is that? What I is don't it? I A I A or A I. AI snips. Oh, AI snips. You, AI snips. That does it for you or something? Yeah, something like intelligent snips. That's what that's what I meant. Nothing. Intelligent snips. So that's IA, right? So right here I'm just making my little tabbies. <laughs> like so. And then you try to connect that right there uh, almost have it uh, that's the what do you think slav do we need to invest more money into snips so here's that thing right there and Yeah, Tony, I don't know if anybody is gonna wanna invest in that method. It's, it seems like it's a little too difficult. It's for professionals only, okay? Okay, sure, whatever, think... whatever makes you sleep better at night. There we go. Beautiful. Is that the proper way of doing it? Yep. I'm trying to pull these tabs. Use every single, use every single tool you have. I just know, to I use pull. like five tools. Don't laugh, like. And you wonder why the scissors don't work. Uh, check this out. So these scissors, they're opening up like this. They're supposed to lock so they, in yeah they and these, like these are these are they, brand new it, right they come over. so the new ones are doing that too huh i don't know maybe that's the that's the way and, and they call it wise I, I don't think this is wise at all yeah how, you supposed how to, am i supposed to punch see it's like it's weird 
And plus, my hand is not big enough. I don't to understand grab why it. they keep improving stuff. It actually makes it worse. There you go. Anyway, 65 foot gutter. And these ones? Oh, look, they, they stuck. These ones hold. Yeah. Look, they hold. Oh, these ones don't hold. I don't get it. <laughs> See, it's supposed to be like this. Then I can punch my outlet straight in. I got set up. I think David set me up. <laughs> I got some. I got some proper scissors that don't unfold. Let's see if we can punch it with one shot. One, two. Ha! There we go. Say one punch. One pun. One punch, Puncho. Mm -hmm. Where's our Where's our good old friend Puncho at? Puncho. It just locks it in place. All right, 65 feet of wide bottom. Let's get it installed. Heavy duty outlets, I like it. It's a long piece, but we're gonna get it up there. We got internal brackets. That's what we do. So I got my truck over there. All right, got the gutter in here. We're gonna put a couple screws, throw some water in there. There's a water hose if you wanna get that going, put a screw so it doesn't fall off. All right, water testing. Water's coming out. Very nice. My, my favorite gutter, white bottom. All right, we're gonna make our first elbow. So I usually go about five inches. We're gonna draw a line all the way across. We want it to be as accurate as possible. So now, <clears throat> I wanna put a, a big slope. So let's do half inch and one inch. So changing it up a little bit. I'm just gonna have one inch at the bottom, half inch at the top. I wanna put an extra slope on this house because there's a lot of trees. And I don't want my downspouts clogging, so let's give it a shot. So here we go. There's one cut. There's two cut. Oh, I guess we gotta cut it first, huh? Get this out of the way. So we're doing plant square training. All right, so there's our cut. We're gonna put some glue like usual because we don't want it to leak. a little bit now you gotta fold the tabs because you want that to go in there so you see how big that slope is so in the back of the house that's what we're gonna do it's too it's not too aggressive um that's a possibility but in the back of the house we'll just keep it at that a lot of trees a lot of trees in. uh makes sense I just don't want it to clog. So now that we have this, look, look at this slope. Well, kind of like that. So basically I would have to measure my outlet from the gutter at the same slope, right? I mean, I technically could take this down spot over there. Let's, let's go look, let's go look. You see that? I, can I mean, I look, can basically mark it right here where my cut needs to be. Looks pretty good, actually. Looks like a pretty good slope. So that's where we need to fold it. Beautiful. Okay. 
All right, so now that we know where it hits the wall, we're gonna cut on the face. We're gonna go all the way across. So the opposite direction opposite. from that side. So whatever we did at the top, we have to duplicate the bottom. So what do we do on the top? One inch. One inch, one and a half, and half, half inch. inch on the top. So we'll do that, that. I like to leave a little tab. On the bottom portion, right? Yeah, it just makes the gutter stronger. All right, let's cut it. Here we go. I just gotta mention, you see the face right here? You gotta make sure you don't overcut, otherwise you will have a gap. What are you saying? Oh, you have a Don't hole? overcut your downspouts. See, it's nice and beautiful. Yeah, it makes sense. Here, it's okay a little bit. Because you won't see it. All right, get your scissors in there. You won't see it, but I will. Mm, yeah. <laughs> because I'll know it's there. <laughs> There's one. Go here. You guys see that line okay? Yeah, I can see that. I'm just making a little tab. For what? Well, let me show you. Get rid of that. Take your benders. Tony, it seems like you do a lot of unnecessary stuff. I, I do a lot of un unnecessary, unnecessary stuff, thing. but Royal Gutters is quality. So I don't think we need to put any glue in here. How come? Because the water travels here. But look how nice it makes it. Oh, it looks... Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And it's strong, too. So now we're going to add another screw. Should we go measure this downspout? Beautiful. Measure or test it? Test it, yeah. Yeah, we should test it. All right. So now you can see... A beautiful angle. Angle. It's almost as thin as you. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> All right, so let me just measure it. We have 26 inches. Perfect. All right, we'll go measure. Where did it go? Oh, spider? Where is it? Like Did it go on the other side? Hopefully, it didn't jump on me. Uh, probably. Where is it? Ah, oh, so come on, where did it go? And a half. Get it? What? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Hi. Scary. Scary. Oh yeah, there he is. That's what I have to deal with at work sometimes. All right, here's, I'm just making my bottom elbow. What's that for? So it's just gonna kick out into the yard. Maybe we should put some glue on it or no, no need. I will put some glue to minimize the noise. You are correct. How did you know that? Well, it's yeah. not my first day. You meant I need to. I just need to make it, make sure this is straight. Delete that, okay? It will edit it, right? I hope so. Hopefully, I don't forget. <laughs> there we go. Now the downspout is straight. Beautiful. Let's oh, add wow. some glue. Beautiful. So my little secret. <clears throat> the way. Uh, to minimize noise, when the water hits the elbow, it'll dampen the sound. So just like that, you don't have to order anything online, wait, it's very fast. Let me do something else. I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'm gonna actually notch that out, open it up. I don't want leaves and debris getting caught. Right? You would think. 
What do you mean you don't want the leaves and stuff to get caught? I thought well, that was the purpose. When you fold it, I want to make sure it's as open as possible. Ah, let so. me see. Uh, I can't see anything. Too dark. But yeah, makes sense. Yeah. All right. There's one. All right, so we are installing this. Beautiful, it's perfect. With the nice little kick over here. We gonna avoid that down spot, spot drain, down drain because uh, it got clogged up. So we're just gonna kick it out into the yard. What kind of method of installation is this, so love? Wrap around. Screw on each side, fold, make sure the corners are good, snug. Another screw. You gotta keep pressure on that strap so the downspout don't fall on me. Then for the final, I'm gonna cut off the extra and then fold. Fold without cutting yourself. Beautiful little little whiskers. Yeah. Tighten. And the screws are hidden. Beautiful. There's a little gap there, but we can use a hammer and straighten it up. Yep. There she goes. Perhaps lift, lift the top up a little bit. Yeah. Close that off and we'll be solid. Beautiful. Yeah. You could put a screw on. Yeah, maybe a zippy. One on the side. Maybe some duct tape. Or duct tape. Black tape so it's not noticeable. Yeah. You can spray paint if any. Spray problem. paint. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the final project. Or final piece. Project. Yeah, one installation. More strap on the oh, one more strap. Make sure it's straight. Beautiful. Hey, Slav, what do you got there? Uh, a little baseball bat. Boom. <laughs> Just kidding. That would be our additional piece to kick the water out further away from the house, from the foundation. So. Gotta wiggle it. Yeah, you gotta be on the safe side when it comes to water damage. Beautiful. I think I can actually flip it over or. It's fine. Well, yeah, since that's the place that yeah, it cuts that. out or opens Keep up. Ball it. Side the same. Yeah, that might that might look better. Yeah. You want to make sure yeah. this doesn't fall apart. You don't want to push too hard. Ah, uh, gotcha. Sometimes these go loose. You gotta go easy on it. Easy. What do you mean easy? Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Tony already got this one ready for us and almost installed. Yeah, since this one has a drain pipe, you don't need a strap on the bottom, just on top. Beautiful, that's a good thing. Yeah, unless the drain is loose. Sweet. Where'd you get that hat from, Slaw? Uh, back in the days at Ross. Back in the days, yeah. All right, getting this gutter installed. I wanna maybe put some gutter screens on one of the gutters just to kind of give the homeowner a free freebie. They can have one less gutter to clean and they can see how it works. Looks nice. I'll ride this gutter in the front. Got a gutter screen. 
we'll see how it works. All right, this downspout, I made a little bit less slope. It's the only one that there's gonna be foot traffic. Put the flowers back on the gutter. And this one is looking Turned good. out nice. We added some skirt flashing right there where we lowered the gutter just a tiny bit. The old gutters had a lip, so they weren't uh, adjustable. Um, so this one, the roofing has flashing, so we're able to kind of tilt the gutter in the direction of the water outlet. All right, here's the old gutter. It had this back flange, so it was stuck on top of the plywood. There was no way you can tilt it up or down and uh, now our gutter, it doesn't have that lip. So it turned out nice. All right, adding some paint to these screws because the house is not very tall and I could see it from the street a little bit. And that gutter over there has gutter screen, so it kind of covers everything. This one is exposed, so I added some paint. So I don't see the shininess of the silver screws. That looks good with the paint. What, what do you think, Dave? I don't know. Probably not a lot of a lot of unnecessary things to do, Tommy. Yeah, but no wonder you don't have no money to get some better freaking scissors. Scissors. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, a little bit extra doesn't hurt anybody. Extra mile. Extra mile. Look, looks like you added some flash in here. Good job. Back, it's, nice, looks it's, nice. All right, just touching up the gutter. So check out the slope on here. Square down spouts will clog right in there. So this will extend the life. And you see how I made my little tabbies here? Makes it really secure. A very good slope right there. Might need a little kick out splash block. Might be okay, but larger slopes in the bottom as well.